Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create this beautiful scenery from the game which just came out. Awakes. Awakes Linkening. Awake. Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. I was so looking forward to play Link's Awakening this weekend and then there was a delay. No Link's Awakening in my mailbox, so I guess I have to wait till Monday, but for now. And if any one of you is also waiting for this game as well to play it, here we go. This is some procrastination, some, well, some nice video to watch while waiting or not playing. I use this um, gameplay video from Nintendo, it's officially from Nintendo, as reference and I could create my own blueprint. It was quite helpful to get all the locations, this hole in the ground for example, or each tree and then we switch to clay. We need a lot of brown clay in this tutorial. This is the base layer if you want to say call it like that which goes underneath everything and by saying everything I mean everything because this clay is even on the floor in, in the studio and every night I go home I find some clay under my feet it's quite funny not so this is the very first first layer of brown clay it doesn't really have a function because you don't even see it in the end, but it gives some stability to the whole creation, so at least it has this function. I am cutting out the blueprint because it has two levels. We have the lower and the upper part. For the upper part, I decided to go this height. We will remove this pattern on these blocks in order to get a really smooth surface for the grass, for example. And the great thing with these blocks and a blade like this is you can work with the clay like as if it is Lego. So you just build your own world how it should be like. Yeah, so <laughs> we have these two ramps ramps which go to the upper part to the upper level this is the bigger one we also have these chickens um, upstairs <laughs> is it okay to say upstairs although you have a ramp I'm not sure about that I mixed a slightly brighter brown for these for this wall and we will work on a lot of details in this tutorial but especially on this wall because it's quite unique to the whole level design. We have a big gap in between the two lines for the wall, these bricks, and I really want to make sure that it looks like a brick wall. But well, we will get to that. First, let's put these stripes to the side of the upper level part. Oh, that was great, great technique <laughs> to use just this blade. It's not that stable for cutting every kind of clay, but for this kind of work, it's perfect. Now let's try to get these bricks into real bricks by adding a lot of details, but also some further gaps as well. And then we have this path. Yeah, let's call it path. It's also part of the level design and of course the green grass. 
the bright green grass I am using is called apple green and this is the only color, the only clay color which changes the color in the oven. It gets really dark and it's sometimes it's really frustrating. This time I was really smart because I threw in some yellow as well that it well to ensure that the clay stays bright and then well this was the task of death creating so so many blades of grass so many details this task took me like two hours yeah I'm serious about that <laughs> it was crazy <clears throat> I was I well I, I had a I had a great time, so don't get me wrong. But for the trees, I wanted to come up with a different solution, but we will get there. I think it is a really great technique. Now we are mixing this bright ochre, which will be used for the wall decoration, because on the wall we have another wall. It's for, I guess, small children and babies that they don't fall off the wall. Probably, yeah, that makes sense. Adding some more gaps and tiny dents and details and then we can start giving the grass a nice texture by just using my sculpting tool and I really like the effect. Well, we have some flowers as well because it's a Zelda game and in, in Zelda games we have a lot of flowers. I'm not sure if you have noticed that before. Now also the blossoms. Let's get them in the scenery and also the yellow part which goes right in the middle. Let's put it right there. Yeah, it looks really nice. Spreading all these flowers on the ground reminded me of these old video games where like decoration elements would appear each let's say five feet so really um, easy a really easy texture we have some further plants which go on the wall ah, it really looks nice and we have these plants we are adding three of them when you um, cut open kill kill these plants well there are some hearts inside and then well we have these big these huge plants the trees the tree trunk goes like this and it also looks quite nice it's really unique to this game to this game design and we need 13 trunks and also trees well the trunks were quite easy but for the leaves <laughs> I had to come up with a different idea and I'm really proud of this idea because I haven't used it yet this technique but I've seen it in some videos on YouTube as well so we start with a tree so all we are doing is creating the perfect tree for us it's quite simple so we try to get a really nice um, edge really nice edge of these three parts the tree is containing of and then we start adding some more leaves so that we really have a quite detailed tree and after that we will put this into the oven so that we have three solid hardened uh, oven hardened uh, pieces and we can start creating our very first and own mold mold it looks like that. So let's try it again. Let's put these all under a huge pile of clay and remove them because, well, we want to have a mold. And after we have removed all the positive parts of the tree, we have three negative molds and we can put them into the oven again. Well, now that was theory. Let's see if it works. Meanwhile, while oven hardening, we can go on and have a look at this hole where Link, I think he gets his first sword right down there. And we are creating another wall and another wall on top for all the babies so that they don't fall in. And we have to create some tiny, tiny trunks 
some branches. It's like very thick branches sticking in the ground. This is the technique I use to get a really, really nice filling and that it looks like wood actually. And we are placing four on each side and the black. This is whole clay. No, just kidding, it's regular black. And we will also use this black as the base layer as the structure for the building, which is right in the middle. I haven't played the game yet and I also have to skip on the old Game Boy version, so I'm not really sure what this building is. I know that it is protected by Chain Chomp, which is jumping right in front of it, and I love Chain Chomp. If you know the video um, classic memes created with clay and cardboard, you have seen that in the studio we created a chain chomp and animated them with stop motion, which was really fun to see. So now this is the technique I used for the house. It took a while that I fully understood how the roof is built. Um, and I think you get me because it really looks confusing. You have all these different perspectives of the roof and, well, the flowers. I think this was the most easy part. And these nice blossoms, white blossoms. I'm rolling in a really, really thin layer of white clay. Probably it's the, the thinnest clay thing I have ever created. And then we have some further decorations. I was not sure what it was, probably some candles, but again, I'm not sure about that. Let's place the building in the scenery. Oh, it already looks so nice. The entrance as well. And here we go. <laughs> this is the mold. And now I'm really curious if it works. It works, look at that. We still have all the details. Ah, okay, that doesn't work so well to remove it. Maybe we can do it also like that. Looks good. But the clay really sticks inside the mold. So maybe, yeah, I should... Why, why, why don't take some spit? Make it a little bit wet inside. And now it works! But because I don't want to lick my finger all video long, <laughs> we take some water and look at that. It removes perfectly. It was the first time and I just needed uh, a way, I needed some time to find a great way and the trees are really looking great as if I had sculpted them all by my hand. And then we have the grass location which looks like a fish from the top, so let's call it the fish grass and this is the technique I used to create it. I've done that with the visitor skin, yeah, the visitor skin from Fortnite. It was the same technique for the beautiful grass. Oh, it looks so nice. <laughs> I could watch it all over again and again. And we have some grass in, on the upper part of the level. And we have, I think, three, yeah, three uh, signs. We have this stone sign and two wooden pieces, which, whoops, we will also place in the location after oven hardening. And now we are getting to the important parts, the chicken. Yeah, that's true. I know that there is one um, task where you just have to collect these chickens. I'm really not sure about that. I just have seen that in one video. And this is how I created the chicken on such a small scale. I used my pointing tool, AKA my eye making tool. And it was quite difficult because I couldn't use my eye making tool to make the eyes of the chicken. <clears throat> so now let's place the heads onto the torso and we have some further feathers on the back side. We have a second chicken. One goes right there and one goes in the front. These two tiny white balls underneath, well, they don't really should be eggs. It should be more like feet. And then we have this cute fox, which reminded me of Super Mario as well. Um, I'm not really sure why and if this fox really appears in a Super Mario title. This is the tail of the fox, also quite cute and really, really small. We have the, the legs, 
I was not really sure of the color, um, but I thought it would match perfectly. So let's place, oops, this guy right there. And what's missing? Yeah, I know, chain chomp is missing. We start with the black ball, obviously, and then we will add all the details in the mouth. And we have the eyes on the side. The teeth should be created out of a very thin layer of white clay. And now we can place him right in front of the door to protect it. Yeah. <clears throat> now, the most important character in this tutorial, well, beside myself, <clears throat> just kidding, guys. This is Link. Link from Link's Awakening. I don't really want to spoiler this game, but it happened to be that I was spoilered about this game, although I haven't played it yet, about the ending, what's it all about, where it takes place. So don't worry, I won't spoiler you. Thanks, Kirsten, again. <laughs> this is the face, the face of Link, and I'm not sure if you have noticed it, Link isn't really smiling a lot. So this is why I wanted to create him this, well, it's not really a, th uh, a sad face, it's more like a thoughtful face, what he should do next. And we have the, the sword and we have the shield with many, many details on it. And I really hope I got all the details right on the shield on such a small scale. And we are ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked and beautiful scenery from Link's Awakening. All we have to do is glue some parts onto the beautiful, beautiful scenery and then we are done. So this is one of the rings from the chain and we are also gluing the shield and the sword into Link's hands. Whoops, okay. And well, what's missing? The most important character. It's the butterfly, the butterfly, yeah. <clears throat> First I wanted to create two of them because they are flying around like crazy, many many of them, but I screwed up. This is why you only see this one butterfly in the video, but well, I guess one butterfly is better than none. Let's remove the creation from the wooden underground and guys, that's it! Yeah, so I thought I could play this game this weekend, but unfortunately there's a delay, so I don't get my game until Monday. Da, 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 da. Well, then I guess I have to play with this scenery all weekend long. Or I could just paint it all black. I totally forgot to wish you a really, really good weekend. So, guys, have a great weekend. See you next week. <laughs>